In this video, let's see what it would take to take a uh, object and set it onto a path and have it fly around the path instead of uh, animating the object uh, by hand. So in this uh, example, I have this uh, simple uh, rocket, but of course you could use uh, any uh, object you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, rocket and I would like to rotate it. I'm going to hold down the J key and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Then what I'm going to do is just kind of move it aside and I'm going to hold down the X key and actually just snap it to the center of my grid. Next let's go ahead and create a path that our rocket can uh, follow and fly along. So to do that I'm going to go to curves, go to EP curves, and if I hold on the X key, I can initially snap on to my grid just to get the uh, rocket started. And then what we can do is we can create a path, a flying path. So in this case, maybe I'll just do a swirl just so it's something uh, fun and exciting. And all we need to do now is just simply select our object, hold down the shift key and select the path, then go to your uh, animation uh, dropdown and under constraints, you have something called motion path. Let's go ahead and click on options and I'll make sure that my settings are reset. And what I would like to do next is we need to figure out which way the rocket needs to face when it's flying along the curve, right? And for the front of my uh, rocket, I want it to be on Y because this is the top of my uh, rocket. And the up axis doesn't really matter. I can do a Z or an X. Um, it's just going to be the side, right? So I want the most important thing is that I want the nose of my rocket, which is the top, which is Y, to be attached to the path. And then all I'm going to do is just simply say attach. Once we've done this, now if we press play, now another thing that I need to point out is that in here the setting is set to time slider, which means my current um, segment is set to 120 uh, frames, right? So that's uh, important because if I press play, it's actually going to play the animation of 120. So let's check this out. So that's how uh, cool and simple it is. But you know what would be uh, even better is if we added some cool uh, variations to our path. Let's rewind. Let's go ahead and right click on our path, go to control vertex mode, and let's move some of these around. So maybe this guy goes up, this one comes down, just so we have something a little more exciting. And maybe this one goes down as well. So now we just have points uh, all over the place, almost like a roller coaster ride, right? So let's uh, press play and see how this works. And you can see the, the rocket follows the path just, just fine. And it is a really fun and quick way to create uh, amazing animations for anything that has to follow a path. Now before we close, let's uh, let's keep going. Maybe another thing we could do, uh, just to have even more fun, because this is a rocket, let's take advantage of some of the content browser uh, content that is here in Maya. So in my case, what I could do is go to content browser and go under FX and fire. Um, I have something called flame. Now, if I just simply drag the flame onto my scene and press play, you can see that I have really cool smoke coming out, right? So now if I go to my outliner, let's open up my outliner. And if I click on this flame box, I can actually scale it down because maybe it's too large. Let's check this out. That's a little better. And I can even make it longer. 
and now what I would like to do is I would like to take this box I'm gonna hold on the J key and rotate it and let's go ahead and slide it and position it right at the end of our uh, rocket so something like that and maybe I can scale it even more and make it a little longer and I can see that the emitter is right there so I'm gonna push it in just a little more and maybe something like this let's press play so that's cool so now the only thing I need to do is just obviously attach this to my rocket so I'm gonna take this emitter I'm gonna middle mouse button uh, click my middle mouse button and just drag it onto the rocket and now if we press play we have this really cool smoke that's following the rocket and the rocket is following the path so this is a really cool uh, and fun exercise I hope you uh, found it useful and have fun animating and I'll see you in the next video